I'm Jennifer Hendricks Black. I make functional pottery, art you can use every day. Today I'm going to be making a tumbler. Tumblers are great because you can use them for hot or cold liquids. So I have a bat on my wheel and I'm just going to clean it off, make a nice smooth surface for the clay to adhere to. A bat is just a wood or plastic, even canvas, piece of something that you put on top of the wheel head. It's going to make it really easy to remove our piece at the end when we're done. So I have my ball of clay. I'm going to push it down right in the center. Then we're going to get the wheel going. I'm putting water on my hands to keep them well lubricated. Any sort of additional friction on the clay is going to make it really hard to center, so I want to keep things really nice and wet. Now when I go to center, I'm going to want to actually use the strength of my legs. So I'm going to anchor my elbow right in my thigh and hold that steady. And as I press that against the clay, I now have a lump of clay that's nice and centered. Now I'm going to open up the clay. Again, I'm going to keep my hands nice and wet. I'm going to feel with my middle finger where the center of that clay is, and I'm just going to firmly push down. As it dries out, I'll add a little more water, and I want to push all the way down until there's maybe a half to a quarter inch of clay on the bottom that we'll use to make a foot later. Now we're going to, I'm going to use those same fingers and pull the clay out so that I'll have an open space in the middle. The tumbler doesn't need to be real wide, so I haven't pulled out that wide of a space. I'm going to use my wooden rib to make a nice smooth bottom. All right, that looks good. Next, I'm going to wet a sponge, and I'm going to Prep, with the wheel still full, going full speed, I'm going to press the outsides in. And what I want to create is the beginnings of a cylinder that go in slightly at the top. The centrifugal force of the wheel is going to make the, want to make the clay push out, and that's going to make it a lot less stable. So I want to make sure that when I'm starting off, Slope in just a little bit. Okay, so now I'm ready to pull up the walls. First, I'm going to just dry out the bottom. The water will tend to accumulate on the bottom of the pot, and that's going to gradually break down the clay. So we just want to keep that somewhat dry. So I'm going to add water to the side. Now, using pressure with fingers on the outside and fingers on the inside of the pot. I'm going to press in and then up. It's a firm grip, but still somewhat gentle because the clay is, it's wet clay, and so if we're not somewhat gentle, then it's going to get crazy on us. Okay, so you can see it's starting to pull up. We'll do a second pull. You can see already the top of this is wanting to flare out a bit. Just press that in a bit. Get the dry on the bottom. All right, now I'm going to use my wooden pointer tool. And I'm going to clean up the bottom here. Get the shape that I want, which is going to be a little bit narrower at the bottom and then flaring out from there. what you would see on a tumbler or a pint glass type, type shape. Okay, that looks good. And we're going to wet down the wall so that it's nice and lubricated when we touch it. I'm going to go back in, just take the piece that I've carved away and just make it look more uniform with the rest of the piece. I'm also doing some final shaping. So 
Now we have our tumbler shape. I'm going to use my needle tool, it's pointy at the end. I'm just going to trim off the very top just to make sure that the top is completely even. It was pretty even before I started, but just to make sure. And then I'm going to use a rubber rib with a nice kidney shape. I'm just going to run this up the side of the pot to get rid of that extra slurry. The slurry is created when I add the water to the pot, it mixes with the clay and the outer layer of the piece is just going to have this really wet clay that it's going to just make it take longer to dry and just won't be as clean. So just clean that up a bit. Okay. Dry the bottom one last time. And finally I'm going to take my finishing sponge and we'll just finish off the rim of this tumbler so that it's nice and smooth. Our final step is to go back to our noodle, needle tool and very slowly I'm just going to create a little bevel under the bottom of the pot. And the purpose of that I take my cutting wire, make it nice and taut, and I'll slide it right under that bevel. And very slowly, I will turn the wheel, and that'll cut the piece off of the back. Now, I'm not going to actually lift it up yet. I'm going to wait a while to let it dry. And then we have our tumbler. To check out where you can find the tumblers, go to my website, jenniferhendricksblack.com. I have a list of upcoming events and also ways to contact me. Thanks.